Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia and I'm obsessed with stickers and planning, so if you are too, you're in the right place. My channel is full of plan with me's, sticker hauls, and other planning videos. All of my videos have timestamps in the description so you can skip around to different sections and to different shops in my hauls. And if this is your 20th time listening to this intro, you can go ahead and skip this too. All my social media links, including Instagram, are in the description as well as all the supplies I use and notes about each video. The planner I'm currently using is my standard size vertical planner, which I use for decorative memory planning. I also just want to add a couple quick notes about me since I don't always remember to go into detail in my videos and for new viewers it can be confusing. So when I mention work, I'm referring mostly to my bookkeeping position at a grocery store. And when I mention Anastasia, or Anna for short, she is my pet ball python. So let's go ahead and get started with this video, and I hope you enjoy! Hi everyone, so today I'm going to go over this week's new releases, which is the Firework Collection. This will be perfect for the 4th of July, and I also have some sheets that will work with Canada Day spreads as well. I don't think I've seen any Canada Day kits come out yet, but I'm sure they do exist out there somewhere. Um, I did pull out my surprisingly small collection of 4th of July kits to kind of demonstrate to you the kinds of kits that these overlays could go well with. I'm only hoarding four right now, which is actually not a lot, but there have been a few that have come out this year already that I absolutely need, so I'm sure that number will go up. I just really like hoarding 4th of July kits. The color scheme just like really gets me, so I did foil this collection to show you in a mixture of my Patriot foil, which is this red, white, and blue, and some silver, and then some red and sparkly red as well. Just to give you kind of an idea of the foil selections that I think will work best with this collection. So first, as usual, we'll start with the bottom washi. So I do have several of the 15 millimeter strips. However, first I'm just going to show you the 7 and 10 millimeter strips, which I typically only do when I know that there is a kit by Glam Planner with the theme. And there is, because I just showed it to you. There's at least this one. I'm sure there's more. I don't know if she's going to be doing one for this year. Um, she, the owner of the shop, just recently had a baby, and so she's just kind of getting back into doing releases, so there might be time for one, but we'll see. But either way, there's old ones. Um, so yeah, I just did the usual confetti overlay here, which I always do, and then the 7 millimeter strip as well which is a banner a flag banner and then here are the two flag overlays that you will see scattered throughout the sheets and any imperfections that you may notice in these sheets are only for these demo sheets um just for the sake of this new release video so just ignore any that you may see um and next we have the confetti, which again is pretty much the same as the flags, but duplicated and made a little bit smaller, obviously. So yet yeah, we have some fireworks in there, sparklers, and a lot of stars. So this looks really cool with the striped foil going in a slantways direction. So I really like how that turned out. And then next we have the American flags right here, alternating with stars. And then for the deco portion, we do have just a flag, a star, and then a star cluster. And obviously I could not do all 50 stars, but I think five is a decent number that you can still see that they are stars. Um, and then, like I said, we do have the Canada Day options. My silhouette went a little crazy here, as you can tell. But um, we have the Canada flags as well, alternating with some maple leaves. And the same kind of idea for the deco portion there. And then here we have just the solid, solid pattern. Um, like version 2 basically, which is the fireworks. Super fun to get four different firework varieties there. And I did use quite a lot throughout the collection as you will see. Like the main elements are kind of the same, like we have our two smaller fireworks here. 
Um, and then we have the flags occasionally, but like the stars and the sparklers are the other two like main elements that you'll be seeing. I try to keep it like fairly consistent. So for the underlays, I did have a lot of fun with these. So we have four different options for the underlays. So here's the medium confetti pattern, which is on the sparser side, which is more typical of a lot of underlays you will see out there in like foil bundles. However, in my foil bundles, you can choose whichever underlays you like. So again, we have the little fireworks in there as well as the sparklers and then the other two types of fireworks and these stars as well. I did kind of use the stars like as confetti pieces as well, in addition to dots throughout the collection. And then the large pattern, I really like this large pattern. Some, some of my designs I like better than others. Um, I think this pattern actually looks really good, especially in this foil too. Like this, the stripes are really visible with these underlays, especially with, you know, such a dense pattern. So this turned out really good, but again, you can get it foiled however you would like. And then we have the two fireworks patterns, Now these were especially fun to design. I feel like in this foil, it's kind of hard to tell like the pattern as a whole, but you will see the mock-up on the website and you'll see every little detail. Oh, there we go. When I turn it so that it looks black, you can see it fairly clearly, I want to say. But yeah, there's like a ton of different fireworks designs in this one. And some of them do repeat, and then there's like confetti in between them. And so this is like version one, and then this is the fireworks version two. So it's an entirely different set of fireworks, and I did kind of coordinate these to be more like mandalas, like more um, radial symmetry, I want to say, in this particular underlay, whereas this one is like your more classic firework design. So yeah, you can choose or you can mix and match. You can get some of each because you would typically need four of these sheets of four to make up like your traditional number of underlays, which is 16. So you can get one of each if you would like because I sell them in quarter sheets for your convenience. So that is our underlays. I really love those. And then we have the overlays. I didn't print out every single like confetti overlay um, because I'm just trying to give you a sample, but these do come in different options as I will delineate for you presently. So here we have the full pattern, which is like the busiest confetti pattern. Essentially, let me put it to the side so you can see everything that's in here. As usual, we have our fireworks scattered throughout and then we have like our big old sparkler as well as different fireworks throughout and star confetti. So that's really fun in the Patriot foil. And then we have the medium size and I printed this in three corner just to show you what the three corner sheet looks like. But um, the medium and the small confetti sizes are available in four corners, three corners and two corners. So here's the medium size in three. So in case you have clip art in a corner that you don't want to cover up, here is the perfect sheet of overlays for you. And similar idea with the two corner. We have these two corners free, these two top two, and then the bottom two perfect for fashion girl boxes. So this is the small size of the confetti pattern next to the large size, or not large size, the medium size. So this full is actually the same size as the medium it's just more of a full pattern um i don't know why i call it that i just do so yep you get three different versions of the confetti overlays in three different corner options and then we have our double box scenes so this top double box scene is pretty much always going to be just the version of the full confetti pattern but like sideways obviously for the double box effects let me actually bring out some double box scenes here because i love to like test them out to see how well they do because i don't usually do this until i print them out um i don't even know how well this is gonna work while it's still in the cello but essentially that is like how much it covers up so like you would still be able to see the clip art behind that 
I try to make them like kind of sparse a little bit and then I usually do like some kind of banner sort of option and this design actually does have banners in it. Um, there is also an, a version of this sheet with the like Canada banners which have the maple leaf instead of these stars. But yeah, so that one kind of goes across the top. That one would look really good over this double box scene, I feel like. Or this one. And there's fireworks behind that, obviously. I didn't point that out. There is a lot of bleed on these sheets, but when they are kiss cut, they look like that. So yeah, super fun with both the fan, uh, banner and the fireworks. So you get two options of double box scenes on that sheet. And then next we have the tall box and big box overlays. So because um, there are tons of different 4th of July kits out there, I am offering big box overlays in both sizes. This is the larger glam planner size, obviously, for your glam planner 4th of July kits. And it does come also in a smaller size, very slightly smaller by a couple millimeters, I want to say, which works well with Paper Candy Art and Apple Blossom Prints big boxes. And then you also have five flag overlays on this sheet just for funsies. And then we have the tall box sheet, which is both the, um, I think, crest press size and the scroll prints go size of tall boxes. And of course, your flag overlays on that sheet as well. And this, these are both in the medium um, confetti size. Next we have our firework cutters. I did something a little different. Usually I do just these nine as the confetti um, like overlay and then I'll do like a solid pattern for both of these sections but I only did one solid pattern which is these stars and then I did two kinds of confetti because I just I really wanted to do the fireworks and it kind of looked weird having like just the fireworks without the confetti so I just went a little ham on that, but yeah, we have our just classic confetti pattern here with all of the elements, and then we have the fireworks with little confetti sprinkles throughout. I think it shows up a little better in person where you can see the details, but it did foil pretty well. So those are your fun options for the header overlays. There are 26 total, so you should have a little bit more than what you need for your spread. You can put some in the sidebar as well if you do glitter headers in the sidebar, which I do. Um, so then we have our swoops. We have some of our larger elements in the larger swoops up top, smaller ones down here, and then even smaller ones here. I didn't have too much to play with. I did bring in like the football um, into the bottom swoops, but the rest are pretty much just the stars because they were the only things that really fit in those spaces. And how they are arranged on the sheet is how they are generally meant to be used over the full boxes. So these are meant to be closer to the left side, and these are meant to be closer to the top. And then these go like straight down, well, straight diagonal in the corner pretty much. And then we have some really teeny tiny swoops as well. And then we can't have our swoops without having dangles, of course. So we have all kinds of dangles here. We have just our classic deco elements on really long dangles that you can trim to whatever size you like. We have our mediums, two rows of the medium, which has just some of the like classic style with just the dots and then some where it varies a little bit, have some more fun arrangements. And then we have our little tiny dangles at the bottom which have uh, mostly classic and then just these stars as the like fun arrangement so it's really fun to mix and match the dangles and the swoops and then of course our deco sheet we have some large fireworks along the top um, we have just some USA elements here we have our football USA like I don't know circular icon it's kind of meant to be like the flag a little bit um and then we have a cake with stars and stripes and then the american flag and then the rest of it is kind of more generic um so then we have our like a medium size of the deco elements we have some um tiny fireworks two rows of those to sprinkle throughout the spread and then we have a tiny row of the deco and then a tiny row of the cluster deco as well if you want that little 
extra confetti bedazzled option. A very organized deco sheet for my shop. Usually they're quite chaotic. And then we have dividers. So as usual, we have our 16, I believe, simple line dividers that can be used as such or to dress up your fancy labels or other square boxes. Um, they can also be trimmed, of course. And then we have just our line dividers with like a single decorative element. And then we have our more fun dividers up here. So we have like a really dainty star divider, a kind of dainty sparkler divider. We have the fireworks and then um, another row of the dainty stars and then the larger stars right there. So I really like that selection of dividers. You can also get the sheet in premium matte if you would like to use them over really busy bottom washi where they otherwise would get lost. Or not bottom washi, sorry, bougie boxes where they otherwise would get lost. So that's why I do offer this sheet on premium matte as well. And then next we have the uh, full box overlays. So here is the USA version. Um, so we have our little banner up here at the top. We have our border with the star. We have double flags right here. And then I really like this one, which is the border with the little truck with the fireworks in it. Super fun. And then we have the Canada version of this sheet as well. So that is what the Canada banner looks like with the maple leaf. Have our leaf there as well. Canadian flags. Oh, and this sheet is foiled in sparkly red. And then we have the little Canadian maple leaf on the car as well. And then we have quite a lot of um, like 4th of July quote boxes. So we have Born to Sparkle, Star Spangled and Sassy, United We Stand, and Happy 4th of July, of course. This is in silver. And then this is in like half red, half sparkly red, just because I was using up paper scraps. But we have America, which I think is really funny with the aviators. Red, white, and bougie, which is like not how I spell bougie, or I think any of us spell bougie, but it was just like too funny to not include. Because um, it's like bougie is definitely like a planner girl thing. And then we have a really large quote, which is a bold stripes, bright stars, and brave hearts. And then just July 4th that you can put like over whatever day is July 4th or just wherever you would like. And then of course, lastly, we have the Canada Day quotes. Um, so I did kind of like have fun with these and like looking up Canadian quotes basically. Um, so we have Oh Canada, which is the Canadian like national anthem, I believe. Happy Canada Day. And then red, white, and hockey. There were like several options of like red, white, and blank that like people were suggesting as like quotes. But I was like, I gotta include hockey for my girl Nessa, who is a Canadian hockey fan. Well, she's like a Canadian fan of American hockey, which is really funny. Um, but yeah, I just had to include that. And then the true north, strong and free. So there we go. For all you Canadian planner peeps, you get a few options with this collection. But I feel like a lot of the generic like firework stuff could like also go with Canada Day spreads. So hopefully you'll be able to mix and match and create the perfect foil set of your dreams to go with all of your 4th of July spreads and Canada Day spreads. So uh, there will be a foil bundle option as per usual and also a printable foil bundle option as per always. So, yep. Um, real quick before I end this video, I just wanted to um, show off the sapphire foil, which is new to my shop, the sapphire blue, because um, I feel like this watch photo really doesn't quite do it justice. This is what it looks like under the same lights as the rest of my foil. It is like kind of almost a purpley blue and in certain lights, I'm not sure I can get it to show that now, but in certain lights it does like have a purple shift to it. Um, so it's a very like, it's a lighter blue than you would think it is. So just like be aware that this is what it looks like when you're ordering it. Again, I do intend to get like a nice solid blue like this in the shop at some point, but right now, um, this blue and blue hollow are the only blues that I have. So just bear that in mind. Oh, and these are the um, the lights underlays from the 11 collection from last week. Just so you know. And 
yep that is it for this week's new releases next week i think i have the beach collection there's been some beach foil out already but i feel like what i have in mind is like kind of a little different i mean same for like the firework stuff it's a little bit different from what i've seen um but again y'all can shop around buy whatever you personally would like for your planner um, but yeah, I feel like I'm gonna have a really fun time designing the beach collection and hopefully there will still be more beach art I know that Jess said she was gonna still work on a beach set and so hopefully It will be like a perfect match and I'm very excited for all of that Like I'm kind of like excited for fall even more but like I kind of want to enjoy summer while it's summer so I'm getting excited for that a little bit too. So yeah, this will all be available on Friday May 13th question mark I think it's the 13th um but yes at some point on Friday May 13th oh Friday the 13th oh that's unlucky oops thank goodness I'm not like doing a Halloween collection on that day but anyways that's when this will be available and thank you so much for watching if you want to like comment subscribe and share that would be fantastic and I will see you in my next video ciao ciao